In this video, I want to talk to you about the different types of scoliosis, about the different curve patterns so that you can understand how yours fits into the, the greater whole. Now, keep in mind that in all of these images, we're looking at the person from the back. So this is the right side, this is the left side, okay? The red line would be the gravity line. This would be if their spine was perfectly straight. Now, in this situation, we have what's called a right thoracic scoliosis. And we know that they, we identify the name by where the apex of the curve is. So in this situation, the apex of the curve, in other words, the part that's furthest off that red line is in the thoracic spine. That's how we identify it. In this one, we have a lumbar scoliosis, because why? The apex, the part of the curve that's furthest from the red line is in the lumbar spine. And here we have an S curve, a double major, some people will call it, because we have two curves on top of each other. This is more difficult, takes a little more finesse to treat because we've got to make sure we don't want to make one better and the other one worse. We have to lift both curves simultaneously. In these situations, we can put all of our attention in one direction and we can reduce the curve a little bit more aggressively. Here, we have a cervical curve. Again, the apex of the curve, the part that's most twisted, is furthest from the red line in the neck area. We call this a cervical scoliosis. And here we have a thoracal lumbar scoliosis. Here, the apex, or the part that's furthest from the red line, would be between the 12th thoracic to the first lumbar vertebrae. It's a little bit more uh, focused. And then here we have a reverse curve. Looks exactly like this one, but going into the opposite direction. It's very important to know about this, why? Because the reverse curve can be an indication of some underlying issue. 90%, maybe 95% of scoliosis is gonna fall into these three groups right here. But you do get these other types of scoliosis, can be indicating something else going on. Could be indicating that there's some underlying neurological problem. We wanna look further into that particular case and understand why is that curve deviating from the typical pattern that's found in 95% of cases. Thanks for watching. I hope you found all this information helpful. Please subscribe if you'd like to have more information about scoliosis, and don't forget to hit the bell That'll alert you whenever we publish new information. And if you've got any questions, write them in the comments field and I'm gonna make sure to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching.